hey everyone welcome back to my video in youtube so today i wanted to show you about how to we can make the drop shadow with a good components so basically drop shadow is the most component uh, sorry drop shadow is uh, the most style that useful for for user interface design so if you are using the drop shadow with a good so you will get the best like the apple did like the apple did you can see in the navigation we have the drop shadow here but i think it's not good because it's too much shadow here and also the blur it's more uh, the blur it's still not good so you can yeah i don't know it's apple did so uh, in this case i have prepared the uh, the icons this is for icon one two three four and so different icon so it's only for the content well we will practice in the sketch app so just create new document and you can select the artboard maybe 100 icons and i will change it for the shadow one and this is the shadow it should be like uh, for the content so maybe we can create the content with the rounded rectangle tool or you can press U on your keyboard and setting the radius around 20 and of course we need to remove the border because we don't need if you are uh, if you are playing with the drop shadow you don't need the border because it will make your design better because we have uh, the shadow here so we don't need the borders again okay so I wanna change this background first so maybe to the blue and you can see it's a bad so we need to change to the white and bad it's good well after that we need to copy this icon maybe uh, teamwork just copy and then paste and I want to resize around 40 no 60 no 50 okay 50 it's better so we can make it to the center like this okay it's cool and then we can group for the item and we can copy paste and we can select this and copy and paste oops and we can move like this okay it's cool and we just need to change the uh, sorry we just need to change the icon copy and paste and recess to 50 and remove this and repeat and repeat again so if if you are interested about the icon you can download from the flaticon.com there's so many icon that i have used for my project and that's free just like this okay so the next one i wanted to make it different so maybe uh just rotate like this but it's not good so we need to make it to the center and then i wanna select all of them and go to layer and flatten to select it to bitmap okay and after that we just need to rotate oh i'm sorry we undo just undo and undo again uh, we cannot select all of them we just need to select one by one and flatten to selection and then this one again just one by one because we will apply with the shadow so that's why we need to one by one okay and after that just select all of them and rotate like this uh, like this okay and then we need to 
move like this yeah it just move around and after that we select one icon and we can transform and then we can uh, sorry my mistake uh, we just need to sorry uh, we have rotate it and just reposition again I don't know reposition again maybe yeah just like this and we can sorry I wanna and select all of them and we can group and make to the center like this but you see here it's not good so we can just like this okay okay it's cool we need to modification again yeah just uh, the carefully when you have designed something when you are designing something just be carefully okay and make to the center just like this and then I wanna give the shadow for them and if uh, sorry if we have the background around the white color just like this of course we need the shadow to make it different from the background on the concern so we can click uh, whatever you want just start from the rocket and just shadow and make the y to the zero and the x maybe 10 no and you can use the minus here just like this and it's around 7 okay and the blur is 10 and then you can see we have the shadow here but i think it's not still good so maybe we can uh, come on out and see to copy the style and select all of the layers and pass the style so by example you have the shadow like this but i don't agree because i think it's not still uh, i think it's still not good so i will modify this shadow just click here and yeah the the simple things we need to do it's only to decreasing the uh, the opacity it's maybe around 30 no 20 10 no maybe 15 yes 15 is better so we have the shadow like this so which which one you like this one or this one i prefer like this one because why i think it's good wait the minute i think it's good so if you like this i don't know how about your opinions but i think it's still good so we can copy and we can pass like this sorry we can copy the style or click right and copy and select all of them and click right and uh, paste style okay it's more soft and how about if we have the background so uh, we have the background maybe green color so maybe a soft green color like this or yellow or orange yeah you can see we don't need to change the color again because we have decreasing the opacity so if you have the purple or big uh, if you have the yellow or red you don't have the problem again with your shadow because we already decreasing the shadow by manually with this opacity that's why it's a good for you so maybe if you have uh, another another artboard with the another background 
and we can select this just like this and then we have another color again like a sorry like a red and this one like a maybe green there's no problem again because the shadow is a uh, good for us okay it's cool right so i think it's enough if uh, i think it's enough about the shadow so maybe in the next time i can create about uh, the shadow again for a video tutorial well please let me know if you have any opinion and and if you have any question about the shadow so thank you for watching and nice to meet you from indonesia see you